بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ مارفینس سو دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف مارفینس فری مارفینس اینڈ باؤنڈ مارفینس سو دس ویڈیو از آل اباؤٹ فری مارفینس اینڈ وی ول بریفلی ڈسکرائب اینڈ ڈیفائن بیس روٹ اینڈ اسٹیم so let us talk about free morphemes first of all free morphemes are the words that can stand alone <clears throat> for instance any word that we talk about like this word itself free free is a word that it does not need any affixes or suffixes or infixes it can stand alone it gives us a proper meaning itself morpheme is a word it doesn't need any other uh, inflection or uh, affixes or prefixes so the words that we speak in our daily lives that can stand alone and that can convey meaning proper meaning to us they are called free morphemes so they do not require any other word to define their meanings For example, these three, four words are written here and attend free and democratic, uh, whatever the words, I mean, mostly 90-95% words that we speak in our daily lives, they are free morphemes. And bound morphemes, they are the fixes and suffixes that we will, for example, if we say attend and we say uh, attended and unattended. So you and un will be a bound morpheme because you and un itself cannot stand alone unless and until it is attached to a, a free morpheme it cannot give us a proper meaning for uh, you can yourself analyze that you and un it does not give us any meaning but when it is attached with uh, attend it becomes unattended. it means somebody who has not been attended so the meaning is changed itself you and un does not give us any meaning but when it is attached to any free morpheme it gives us a meaning and the meaning of the free morpheme is actually changed and attended and unattended in this category uh, we talk about antonyms so the word the meaning is opposite to the uh, base word or free morpheme so in our next video we will discuss about bound morpheme so let us focus only on free morphemes here that the words that can stand alone and that can convey a proper meaning to us so uh, there are three types of free morphemes not three types but you can say uh, three categories of free morphemes they are base root and stem Now initially uh, in morphology, base, root and stem, they were considered as same words because base word or root word means the word that can stand alone. For example, if I write a word uh, disagreement, so D-I-S, dis, it's a prefix and the base word is agree. A G R W E agree, and the rest of the last word M E N T M E N T. So disagreement. There are actually three morphemes: dis, agree, and M E N T. In this word M E N T M E N T and D I S, they are bound morphemes because M E N T M E N T does not give us any meaning, and D I S alone cannot give us any meaning. So agree is the proper base word. So this is no. This was known as root base or stem uh, the word where the affixes and prefixes they are attached to change the meaning it was initially thought that these three uh, categories are same but with the passage of time uh, the linguists they try to define it to differentiate between these three uh, words root stem and base Uh, so it was in english word formation by lori bear in 1983 he was the first one who uh, this writer was the first one who gave the idea to distinguish between root 
stem and and base so root is a word uh, that cannot be further analyzed that we all know uh, for example this word uh, as we talk about disagreement as i told you that agree is a root word because it does not need any other inflection infix prefix or suffix to give its meaning so this one is known as the root word uh, here the example is given untouchables so here un and ables uh, when they are removed from touch this word touch it is a root word uh, you know when we talk about agree we cannot add an inflection to it inflection morpheme cannot be added because we cannot say agree to agrees when we say cat and one s is added it becomes cats so singular is changed to plural this addition of a, s and ed it is called <clears throat> uh inflectional uh, morpheme or inflectional words because they change the grammatical category or they change from singular to plural so in untouchables this word touch is a root and s as we talk about untouchables un is a separate word touch is a separate word able is a separate word and s it is an inflection which is usually added in singular and plurals so it cannot be further analyzed and uh, it is that part of the word even the inflectionals and derivations when they are removed from the word it can stand alone so it does not need any inflection or derivation or affix or prefix to give its proper meaning so you can take two examples disagreement and untouchable in disagreement and untouchable agree and touch both are root words then we have stem uh, <clears throat> stem is a word that actually deals with uh, the inflectional morphology as i told you the addition of s to singular it conveys it changes its meaning to plural cat and cats dog and dogs untouchable and untouchables singular and plural so when we talk this word untouchable it is a stem but when this inflection s is added it becomes untouchable so you can you can say the stem are the words that are independent of inflections like from untouchables we removed us the remaining word untouchable will be called stem word uh in short you may remove the inflectional suffixes you have the stem so whenever you say cat and cats the word cat would be stem and in the same way when we talk about untouchables when s is removed the remaining word untouchable is a stem when we take untouchable as example of root we remove un also we remove able also the root word is touch but in untouchables the stem word is untouchable but when inflection is added it does not become uh, a stem word so stem again i repeat stem is a word where inflections are removed when inflection is only the inflection is removed you don't need to remove the affixes or prefixes or infixes just remove the last uh, inflection and the the remaining word would be stem then we talk about the base uh, so base is a kind of word that you can say it falls under the category of root and stem bo both it can be base can be root base can be stem also as i told you uh, uh, because uh, that initially in morphology root stem and base they were considered as the same words but with the passage of time uh, the, these three categories they were differentiated so as far as root is concerned it is independent of affixes suffixes and inflections as far as stem is concerned it is only independent of inflections and as far as base is concerned it can be a root word it can be a stem word so both can be uh, 
considered in base so uh, for example the word in untouchables in untouchable uh, this example is given here in uh, disagreement and untouchable there are many other words that you can find out but let us focus on this word untouchable when we remove un and ables the remaining word was touch it is called root when we talk about untouchables we remove only s the inflection the remaining word untouchable will be called stem as far as base is concerned base is again a uh, touchable can act as a base for prefixation to give untouchables so it will be a word where an affix or prefixes can be added like in untouchables the word touchable would be base because by adding u and un the meaning is completely changed so touch would be root word untouchable stem and touchable would be base again let's talk about root uh, root is the word that cannot be further analyzed uh, as i have already explained that roots are be uh, free morphemes definitely root cannot be a bound morpheme it is always a free morpheme and there are many other words of fixes prefixes suffixes inflections derivations they can all be added to the root word so to define a fixes prefixes suffixes uh, we need root word that can be that the that can have these fixes and prefixes to change its meaning uh, so uh, uh, unimaginable this word is given here as an example in unimaginable you can say there are three basic words u and un a separate word imagine a separate word and able a separate word now here you can talk about image imagine it can give us a proper meaning when it stands alone and again able is also can also give us a proper meaning but in this word the root word is imagine uh, the focus is on imagine if imagine is re removed unable would give us a completely separate meaning so imagine is a root word un is a, a, a bound morpheme and able again is a bound morpheme it, it is also a free morpheme because it can give us a proper meaning standing alone so uh, as for this word is divided into three parts but to understand the definition of root focus on this word imagine imagine cannot be further div uh, divided into any other part we cannot remove even the last t we cannot remove the first i so imagine is a complete word this is called root then uh, talk about stem as i already told you because uh, stem is the word that has inflection of fixes uh, as i told you untouchables so untouchables when s is removed the remaining word is the stem stem also falls under the category of root definitely the root stem and base they are the same words in morphology and then we have uh, 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 root is defined as it is the smallest meaningful part of the word meaning not the smallest meaningful part of the word but you can say the word that can stand stand alone not only in meaning but also in grammatical category its grammatical category should also be added into its definition and uh, stem is any morpheme which is syntactical affixes can be added to like inflectional morphemes s can be added to and base is base is any morpheme which an affix can be added to it's very simple in uh, again take the example of untouchables touch is a root word untouchable is uh, stem and base is a word where affix can be added so if we remove u and un from touchable the remaining word touchable would be called the base because u and can be added to it so basically they are the same forms but there are slight differences that i have told you the word disagreement in this word disagreement the word agree that would be uh, called root and agreement that would be called stem because dis dis that is an affix that can be added to it and then we have uh, 
M E N T. Uh, disagreement is a stem that I already told you, and uh, the last one is affixes cannot stand alone in any language. Definitely, affixes and prefixes most of the times they cannot stand alone. You can take examples of Urdu and English also, uh, mostly from Urdu language also, like uh, La Hasil. So in La Hasil. This word la itself doesn't give us any meaning unless and until it is attached to some other words. Uh, if I can recall some other examples in Urdu. Uh, yes, we call it uh, a word that is uh, authentic word. We, in Urdu we call it na kable tardeed. So na kable tardeed in this word, the word kabil. It is a root, kable tardeed, it is a stem, and uh, na kable tardeed, that would be the base. Kable tardeed would be the base because na can be added to it. So tardeed and na both are affixes and perfixes, and the root word is kabel. So you can say in na kable tardeed, you can uh, simply take it its example as disagreement or untouchable. To define root and stem so in this video we have discussed about the free morphemes first of all we defined it what free morphemes are that can stand alone then we defined the word root that does not need any affix or perfix the single word stem is a word where we can uh, add inflections base is a word where we can add affixes then we have we further defined root in this video the root is a word that cannot be further analyzed it does not need any uh, affixes prefixes infixes derivations or inflections to give its meaning uh, as far as stem is concerned that is a word where inflections can be added uh, keep in your mind stem is a word where only inflections can be added like s or es uh, to make the plurals and sometimes to change the grammatical category and then we defined again what root is what stem is what base is in the word disagreement agree is a root agreement is a stem and disagreement is a base so this is all about today's uh, lesson